We all know that person that's like, ooh, you eat rabbit? Typically, that same person is like, they're so cute, how do you shoot them? I prefer to just smile and say, ah, you wouldn't understand. Cottontail rabbit is truly one of the best flavored wild proteins ever. We are super abundant, highly regulated, and a great practice animal for anyone interested in getting started in hunting. Rabbit is the perfect animal to learn on. How to skin, field dress, all the anatomy, how to cook and clean something that you harvested all on your own just the way God intended it is life-changing. If you are not interested in the entire process, please turn it off now. We're about to procure some dinner. Good shot, Aaron. Rabbit limit handled. I prefer a flat surface to clean on. I'm going to use my little camera optics box as like a portable table today. Step one, remove the feet and tail. Step two, remove all the hide. Step three, pull them guts. And step four, quarter up and stick them in the cooler. All right, we're going to pick this up right here in the kitchen. The most underutilized wild game cooking contraption is the pressure cooker. I'm gonna take six full rabbits, drop them down in the pressure cooker and give it 18 pounds for 60 minutes. Then I'm gonna prep some cilantro stems, onions, sweet peppers, I'm gonna caramelize them up and then set them aside. Then I'm gonna crisp up a whole bunch of flour tortillas because I think they taste and smell amazing. All right, back to the rabbits. Once it's all done and the pressure's been released, I'm gonna pull them out real gentle because it's gonna be better than any pulled pork you have ever eaten in your life. Delicately, I'm gonna go through, remove every bone, and make this perfect pile of beautiful rabbit meat. Next, I'm gonna introduce my enchilada sauce. I really, really like this red enchilada sauce from Trader Joe's. Use any one you want, but this one is my absolute favorite. All right, I've got everything prepped, and I'm down to uh, the stuff that's on the bone. I can go, th I'll, I will go through this whole batch one more time. That's it. Um, but I don't want anything that's discolored, meaning it's probably bloodshot. I don't think I had much in there that was like that. Um, and I don't want anything with a bone. So stuff that's really, really tight to the spinal cord, like that's an entire spinal cord. Just, it's amazing what a pressure cooker will do. Um, I don't want to accidentally slip a rib bone or something like that in there. And Mr. Beans will eat all I feed him. So much good in there for humans, dogs, whatever. And then I'll take that broth that come off all that pressure cooked stuff, all the fat stuff in there, and then I'll put it over his kibble. That's why he's so beautiful. Mild manner, said. Good boy. All right, let's make some enchiladas. So just the bottom layer I cut up and I fill in all the edges and cracks with flour tortilla, just the bottom layer. Then I put my onions, peppers, cilantro stems, I put my meat in there, the rabbit meat, enchilada sauce, cheese, a little more sauce, and then I just do round layers above that. I like to get three layers in there, push it down, compact it. I joke, but this is like a enchilada lasagna. It's gonna cut like cornbread, look like lasagna, and taste exactly like the best enchilada you've ever had. Finally, I put a little cilantro right on top. I drop it in a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Remember, it's all already cooked, so I'm just browning. Pull it out and you can thank me in person. I'm not a huge fan of watching people eat and doing the old, mmm, so good. I don't have to sell you, because it doesn't matter. I loved it. 
This meal was fantastic. Let's wrap it up. All right, that is a wrap on my rabbit enchiladas. This is a meal I make quite a bit with whatever game meat I have. No, it doesn't highlight rabbit. It just makes any game meat taste delicious. And it takes a premium meat like rabbit. It just, it just gives a fantastic texture. It's a great, great, great meal. And I, I, today, because there's nobody here, I was just meal prepping. So I ate one whole one of these. I swear it weighs half a pound. Uh, I want to encourage you to eat your rabbits. Eat whatever you got in the freezer. If you're not hunting big game, you haven't had the opportunity, you're trying to get involved in hunting, start with rabbits. Rabbits are a resource that are pretty much everywhere. Um, a little bit of research and you can get yourself there. It's a fun one to hunt. It's a great one to learn from. And it's a very, very delicious meat. If I took that rabbit and set it right next to a pulled chicken, you tried them both. And I said, which one is milder? You would say the rabbit because it is just absolutely a fantastic meat. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.